Okay guys, I have done some serious, serious damage to my bank account this last week. Mecca in Australia had their big holiday re release launch day and I have not one but two huge bags full of makeup here and I'm going to show you what I picked up, let you know what products I've used yet, whether I recommend any of these. So if you want to see what Christmas goodies I got from the Mecca holiday release, then let's jump on into the video. <laughs> Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Bettina and I am the makeup enthusiast. If you are new around here, this is your go-to channel for all things Aussie beauty where you can find Aussie made and owned beauty reviews as well as some good old fashion Aussie beauty hauls. So make sure you are subscribed so you can keep up to date on all those videos coming your way every Monday and Friday. So Mecca had their huge Christmas releases. So this is where they released all their Christmas sets for all the brands that they stock. It was on the 8th of November. They did have a bit of a mini pre-launch and I managed to get my hands on some of the products. So I'll start off by showing you the products that I got in the pre-launch. These products I ordered online. So firstly, I grabbed the Too Faced, the Sweet Smell of Christmas Treats Liquefied Lipstick Set. So this comes with four of their melted matte liquid lipsticks, pumpkin spice, sugar cookie, cinnamon bear, and hot buttered rum. This is like a kind of like a burnt red. And then we've got three nude colors. So sugar cookie being the lightest, pumpkin spice is like an orangey nude. And then hot buttered rum is more like a mauvey nude. I also will quickly mention, I got three samples. When you order online with Mecca, you do get samples. So I got the Tatcha Pure One Step Camellia Cleansing Oil the Too Faced Born This Way undetectable medium to full coverage foundation. I really want to try this one so I'm happy that I got a sample. And then the Stila Stay All Day foundation and concealer. If you do go into store you can ask them for samples and they're more than happy to give you samples. I actually had a friend that used to work at Mecca and they actually encouraged the staff to give out samples so don't feel bad if you are asking for samples because they are actually encouraged to give them out. I also picked up the Bare Minerals Aurora Lights palette. This is the Gen Nude eyeshadow palette in Aurora Lights. You guys have probably already seen, I did do a full swatch video of this. I have been wearing this like every day to work. I am really enjoying it so far. This palette is not for everyone by any means. I do really like the Bare Minerals formula though. So that is why I picked this one up. I have used pretty much every color in here except the color uh, force field, media shower, dazzle, and I think I've used a little bit of perspective, but the the like the main colors I haven't used are because they're just not work appropriate. Everything else in here is really work appropriate. I use like 500 thread count every single day to set my eyeshadow because it's like the perfect color. It's pretty much my skin tone in an eyeshadow. Catch Me If is, it's a stunning color. It is like a mauve shift with like a slight goldy color. It is just beautiful. I'm really enjoying this palette. If you're looking for like an everyday neutrals palette with like a few poppy colors that you can use to like ramp up looks, I think this is a great palette. It is I think $70 from Mecca but it does come with 18 shades. It is a fairly compact palette. It is a bit weighty though and it is a bit thick. It's a really good palette to take away. Like normally when I go away on holidays, I don't want to be doing really colorful looks. I just want something that I can kind of slap on and go and it still look really nice. In that regards, it is a really nice palette for travel, but it is a little bit heavier than probably your normal palettes. The last item that I picked up in the pre-sale is the Hourglass Confession Lipstick Duo. The one thing that annoys me about the Hourglass sets is that they, they don't give you like one of these cases for every, every lipstick. I don't know why they do that. I think it's really stupid. If they're going to do a set, they need to include one of these cases for every color. But anyway, one of the colors in here is at night, which is like a darker ready color. And then the other color in here is my one desire, which I'm actually wearing on my lips today. This color was in the set that came out last year for Christmas, the trio. So if you got that set, then you will be getting a double. I though ended up picking up this set because this color, my one desire is only exclusive to like the Christmas set. And it is like my all time favorite nude. I really wanted a backup. Then <laughs> moving on to the products that I picked up in store in these two bags. First of all, I 
grabbed the gingerbread spice palette. I am wearing this on my eyes today. I actually grabbed this out to have a play with it for my makeup today and out fell this little booklet and I really liked this warm and toasty look. So I followed the directions to see how easy it was to follow and I got this look today and I think the directions on this one are quite nice and pretty easy to follow. I'm sure you've all probably seen this before. It is the typical Too Faced tin. This is what the gingerbread spice palette looks like. It doesn't have a overly offensive smell. I thought this would probably smell a bit more gingerbready, but it's not. So I, I I actually appreciate that it's not overly offensive. It's a really subtle like gingerbready smell. On my eyes today, I have gingerbread, spice, and nice reindeer paws, and then warm and toasty like on the center of my lid. So so far, I actually really liked using this palette today. The mattes are really nice and easy to blend, and the warm and toasty. When I used it just with my brush, it was it was really nice, but it, it wasn't quite what I wanted. So I did I did use a setting spray to kind of wet my brush and then go on my lid and it did kind of amp it up a little bit. So it did turn out quite nice in the end. I haven't had a chance to play around with any of the other colors in this palette because I have been using the Aurora Lights palette instead. Then I also picked up the Hourglass Confession Lipstick Trio. Now this comes with three lipsticks. Two of them have the refills. So the first lipstick, is I Can't Live Without and it is a, another kind of raspberry reddy colour. Then we have If Only which is a nude and I Woke Up which is a, another nude. I have drastically expanded my confession lipstick collection over the last week. I do really like these pink cases. I think they are stunning. They traditionally come in a gold case. I do wish you could like either buy the case by themselves or like I said when they do these packs put a case with every lipstick that they include in the set. I mean I wouldn't mind paying a couple of extra dollars so I could get a case for every single lipstick they include in the set. I think it's just a little bit silly that they don't put a case with every lipstick they include in the set. I know it's really easy to change the colors out but I would rather a case with every lipstick. Then not while I was in Mecca I was having a look at all the sets and this set caught my eye. I went back to it a few times and then I tried the full size items. I had a look at them and I decided that this was actually a pretty good value set and it is the Tatcha Skincare for Makeup Lovers Obento box. So there was a few products in the full size that I wanted to try. I really want to try the Silk Canvas, which I've heard is like an amazing primer. The Violet Radiance Mask, I've heard is really good. So these two, I really wanted to try and they are pretty expensive full price. So this worked out to be a pretty good value set and I could try a number of the items rather than just one of the items in full size. So in this set, you get a, I believe this is a full size of the, the Luminous Dewy skin mist and then we have a sample of the Tatcha Violet C Radiance Mask, the Silk Canvas and the Water Cream. So there's those products in there. I haven't had a chance to try anything in this set yet but I think if you are wanting to try anything from Tatcha this is a great option. They do also have another set but my store only had this one. If you're interested have a look on the Mecca website and just kind of compare the two sets and see which one will probably suit you more but I think this is a great value. I think this is a really nice gift to get someone as well. They get to try four items from a really luxe skincare brand. Moving on to bag two. So the last item that I picked up is another set. I think sets at Christmas time are a great way to try a brand. You get to try like more than one product from a particular brand. There have been quite a few new brands come to Mecca this year. So I think it's a great a great opportunity to try a lot of products from certain brands to see if you like them rather than buying like one full size item. So the last set that I got is the Sol de Janeiro Boom Boom Carnival Magic. It is Boom Boom but I think it sounds cooler if you say bum bum. <laughs> so this comes with a full size of the Boom Boom Cream, a sample of the Boom Boom Cream, the Brazilian Kiss Lip Butter and the Brazilian Crush Body Fragrance. So I think this was a great set. I can't quite remember actually. 
have the receipt. Why am I saying I can't remember when I have the receipt right here? This set was $55. So I think that's a really good value. Okay, it's not a full size. It's definitely not a full size, but it is bigger than the sample size. It comes with like a medium size and a mini size. I think the lip balm is a full size, but the body mist is a sample size. That one was $55. The Tatcha one was $93. Make sure you jump on the Mecca website. They have all the stuff there. A lot of the stuff is probably already out of stock. So make sure you jump on there pretty quickly if you don't want to miss out on anything. What did you guys pick up from the Mecca holiday releases? Let me know down in the comments box. I would love to hear what you've grabbed and whether you like them. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if you like Mecca hauls. And also don't forget to make sure you have subscribed so you can keep up to date on all my Aussie beauty hauls. And also my Aussie made known beauty reviews. That's it for this video everyone. Thanks for stopping by and hanging out with me today. I hope you are having a fantastic fantastic day. I hope you have a fantastic week and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.